Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to this mystery jewelry jar. This jar was $99.99. Y'all, let's dig in this thing. Now, uh, I opened this and did the video. I lost the video, okay? The video, it was gone off my computer. It's all black, so I'm going to redo this. I already know what's in here, um, and, but I'm going to redo it again because I wanted to definitely share this with y'all. I, I, bought, I bought this video, mm, video. <laughs> I bought this jar on 50% off day, y'all. So I only spent $49.99 and I'm still disappointed. Let's get into it. All right, let's see what we got. So we got some earrings. I don't, these, I know I looked at these and they weren't anything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're just gold tone. Um, Little cute little earrings though, you know. Yeah, so just those and then let's get into pulling this stuff back out. I put everything back into uh, into the jar when I was finished with it. Let me open it up all the way. I was so mad <laughs> when, I, when I opened this up. But, hey. Okay. So, let's see. This tape is so sticky. It's stuck back. when I Because I put it back in here and laid the tape back over it. And this is full of thread. So it stuck back to it. Okay, everything else will come out. So let's see what we got. I am not showing myself today. These are some, y'all remember these? Do I have enough light over here? Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, let's see if this works a little better. So I had to grab another light, my sherry lamp. But yeah. Okay, so here we go. These little um, pierced earrings, nothing exciting. Nothing exciting. Okay, then we have this. And this is a bracelet. I can't tell if somebody made this or not. Because I don't know what this is. I, I see, You see right here, I can't tell if somebody made that. Uh, yeah, but it's nothing really. See these little rhinestones? Possibly Claire's or something. Yeah. Y'all, this was $100. This little thing here, little bracelet with little mini beads on it. Yep. Then we have, oh, this is one of those button things and they have cufflinks to match. Yeah, little, it goes in your uh, buttons on your shirt and the cufflinks go on your thing, yeah. And then we have this necklace. Oh, it's broken but can it easily be fixed? Probably, but it doesn't have a clasp. So you would have to put a clasp on it. Little break, um, you know, costume piece. Then we have this, these are big uh, beads, like ceramic beads, and they are pink and green uh, roses, flowers rather, not roses, but flowers, yeah. Then we have this uh, barrette that's like a moon. It's a barrette. And we got some, these look to be, have some age to them because of the clasp. You see the clasp? So they're faux bead pearls. I could tell by the touch of them that they're faux just by touching them. Yeah, these got to be faux. I'm trying to rub it on my uh, finger, but I got faux nails on, so can't tell. But yeah, they clasp. They're faux pearls. The clasp is pretty, though. Look at that. Can't even get it in there. I cut my finger, so I got it bandaged up really good. So touching this jewelry, you know. So faux pearls. You see, nothing worth the hundred dollars yet. Glass earrings. It's a pair though. Then we have more faux pearls. Oh, these are kind of cute. Um, this is a bracelet. It's like a double strand. Look at that with the rhinestone there. It's kind of cute. But it's uh, faux pearls. Yeah, I wonder if this is supposed to go together. Could. Okay, then we have this. Another little stretchy 
with some uh, glass beads. And this is like a purple color. It's cute. That's a cute something you could throw on. See that? Can y'all see that? Cute. And then this little uh, plasticky bead. Looks like something that was sold at Fashion Bug at one time. Yeah, triple strand, little cheapy necklace. We got, what is this? A little earring here. Now, I like that earring. The earring is cute. But again, it's like a dollar earring. Cute. I'm trying to get my lighting right here, y'all. And then we have a faux silver chain, silver tone chain. Yeah, nothing. I'm looking for that $100 piece. Here's the cuff link that goes with the button. So maybe it is a, a set of these in here. Little cuff link. It's nothing spectacular. It looks, it looks like a, one of them ones when you, uh, you know, go to rent a tuxedo. And um, they, you can rent the jewelry and stuff. One of them. Okay. This is... Something is broken. A bro broken piece of chain. It doesn't even have a clasp on it. So whatever it broke off of, it doesn't have the clasp. And it's not uh, any kind of precious metal anyway. It's rusted. Okay. This is one of them things where you um, have put your glasses on, I think. No, it's not. It's just one of the ones that wrap around and you kind of tie it around your neck. That's what this is. But it's connected in with these. Okay, I got it. Right here. You wrap it around your neck and then you can tie it. And it just hangs and the weight of it holds it on with the little dangles. Remember when these were out? I never liked them. The beads are nice, though. This would go nice in a crafter's lot. Because these beads could be reused. They got a lot of shimmer to them. Really nice. But, yeah. Again, remember, we're talking about a $100 jar. Grace Bridge therapy jar. This ain't therapy. I could get some real therapy for this. Okay? So, a little faux bead. Again, pearl. Faux pearl beaded necklace. Some, it looks like got some age to it, but not vintage. Some little cheapy earrings. And, um, this is a metal-ish. Yeah, metal slash maybe glass-ish bracelet. I made that up. Glass-ish. Can y'all see the sparkle in that, though? Cute little sparkle in the stones. But it's, uh, you see that? Ceramic, maybe? I don't know. Bracelet. Okay, we got a watch. Let's see what they got. Timex. A Timex watch. A used Timex watch. That needs a battery. Yeah, needs a battery. Okay, and then we have... This is... Uh, I can't remember the name of that, that brand. It's an old brand they used to sell in the department stores. Just a um, costume piece. Brown beads. Cute. But, again. Yeah. Plastic beads. Like a tannish, peachish color. Yep. Big old beads. Nothing spectac. I'm trying to get this lighting right. I'm praying y'all can see these pieces. Okay, we got a wood piece. Let me move through this a little faster here. If I can get this done in time. I don't want this video to go too long. All right, we got... See, this was all tangled up, so... And the last time I did it... All right, let's see if I can get this loose now. All right, I got it. This is cute. It doesn't have a clasp. It looks like somebody... This was like handmade or something. 
Look at that little piece right there, that stone. And then you have the wood animals with the stones right there. So this is a nice piece. I'm actually gonna look into this to see if this is anything. I will look into that. I said, that's right, I said, oh, here's this other earring too. The one I said I liked. So that's cute. Got a set of those. Um, got a uh, rosary, little plastic one. Uh -oh, something stuck on here. Some little piece of broken something is stuck on here, but I'm gonna leave it. And it's, it doesn't belong to this, but I'm gonna leave it on there because I'm just trying to get through this. So a little plastic rosary. Um, another pair of, yeah, I looked at these, they were nothing. Um, just, you know, stones, uh, glass, studs, yeah, nothing spectacular. Here's another single earring. Let's sit that there and see if we find a match. And then we have this brown bead, stretchy costume. Yeah, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. They need to hear about this. And I haven't said anything. Because I did do this uh, video for the first time like a week ago, a little over a week ago. But I was waiting to put it out. And some kind of way it got corrupted on my computer. Okay, again, another one of these. Uh, you know, y'all seen these in like Burlington and... Um, Different stores like that, like the department stores that sell jewelry. These. This is pretty, though. I like this. I actually might keep that. Because this would go cute. It's costume, but it would go cute with, like, a, a nice maxi dress. That would be cute. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Sit that right there. And then, um, here's another costume piece. No name. Yeah, it's got a tag. Uh, Leah Sophia. So it's, it's long, it's a rather long piece, black, silver, and supposed faux pearl, supposed pearl, but faux, and then it has these like stationed. Cute, all of it is stationed beads on a silver tone chain. I like that too, set that to the side. I'm glad I didn't spend $100, let's just say that. Got some rubber band-y like thing. I don't know what that is, some rubber band. And then um, this has a tie in it, a knot in it, but wait, let's see. I'm trying to get this done. I don't have time for the untying. Oh yeah, I cut my hand, sliced my finger right here with a knife. So I'm trying to keep it tight on there so it doesn't, uh, any of this, whatever's on here, doesn't get in it. Yeah, this is just a costume piece, it's an L. It's got a nice little backing on the back there. And then it's on rope. This could be taken off and put on a chain if you want to. If somebody with the initial L, that would be cute. Then we got a plain old, this is a leather rope. So see, this L could go right on here. Where'd it go? I just threw it in a pile. Oh, right here. This L, if that was on here, on the leather rope, that would be cute. So I'll sit that to the side. And then we have... Another piece. This looks like it got a little more age to it because of these little beads right here. So probably early 2000s department store. Yeah. Cute. More earrings. Faux. Costumey. Are they? Yeah. Yep. This is... Alex and Ani, my brand, but it's all rusted out. I'll see if I could clean it. This is U of D, so University of Dallas. Alex and Ani bracelet. So, it's all rusted out. I don't even think I could do nothing with it, but we'll see. I, you know, I have, a, I collect those. So, oh, this is cute. Now, this is really cute. Is it worth? Is this bag still worth a hundred dollars? No, but look at that. Look at that. These are nice glass beads. I mean, really nice glass beads. I think I'm gonna put this to the side too. I could see this on a white turtleneck or even a black turtleneck, a brown turtleneck. I wouldn't wear this like, cause you know, it's some, I get irritated. My body gets irritated with faux, um, these, this plasticky like beads. So I would put this on a turtleneck. Look at that glass bead though, right there. Look at that. That is pretty. 
I'm gonna set that to the side too. Um, this is an earring. Look at that. It's a post and it goes in and this would dangle. Now I could see doing a brooch out of this. I'm trying to find something I could show you. But you say you have something that's pretty like a, um, a broken earring. Some type of pretty big broken earring. You could glue that on here with some E6000 and put a pin on the back of this and let this dangle down like that and have a really pretty bro brooch. That would be cute. Okay, look costume ring. I already looked at that. Costume ring. I don't even think this was a ring, actually. I think this went to something. You see that? I think it went to something. And it broke off. And then we have more plastic beads. And then we have this chain that is... No, it's just a simple chain. Gold tone. Right here. Gold tone chain. Shoot that right there. And little costume earring. It's one of these hook ends. Like that. And then it's like that. With little dangles on it. And plastic beads. And then we have a chain here. These little orange and tan plastic. I don't know what they're for. Uh, is this marked? Nope. So another little um, silver tone chain. It's all rusted out. And yeah. Yep, that was in the $99 therapy jar. Okay. What is this? Oh, another little costume hook in. And um, let me see if I can open this up for y'all a little bit. Nope, it won't open up because it's on the front facing. I forgot. So, a little heart. It's like a gun metal. And then this is a silver tongue. So, again, a little earring. Here's another little earring with a bead. Ceramic bead and like a glass bead. That's cute, though. Look at that little bead. Again, that would go good in a, a crafter's bag. A crafter could use that. This is a little ring that's still wrapped in its plastic. So, one of them little cheapies. Bubble gum ring or something. Yeah, nothing. No signature. But it's a, it, lo it looks like it ain't too... It ain't the worst made. So, cute little... Like one of these. You can put on a finger like that. It's really little. So, you could put it on your finger. I wouldn't put it on with two same rings. Like see. Yeah. Then we have this. This is Easton. What's the name of this watch? I can't even get it to move. East something, y'all. I can't fiddle with it right now. It won't move. It's broken. But it's a little watch, men's watch, vintage, got some age to it at least. And then we got a watch here that is a Seiko. So that's not bad, but the uh, the crystal needs to be replaced. And it's got a lot of scratching in the metal up in here. So really it's not worth much. More of these little plastic beads in brown. So we got orange, cream, and a brown of these little plastic beads. And then another... Necklace, costume. Oh, here's that other earring that I said you can make a brooch with. Oh, I'm trying to get this untangled, y'all. Oh, that's pretty. I didn't even see that the first time I did it. If I did, you know what? It was probably because this was tangled and I didn't finish it. I just said I did have a pile where I just couldn't take it and set it to the side. Let me undo it. Yeah, and that's how I'm starting to feel now. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, here's that other earring that we had. I'll sit it with it. Then we have this gold tone chain here that has uh, a really pretty pendant on it. 
it's costume, but it's uh, a really pretty pendant. Let me look at the class. Yeah, look at that. It's really pretty and dainty. It's costume, but it's a cute piece. And then this is broken. Yeah, this is all messed up and broken. Here's another little piece, looks like a Claire's piece. It doesn't have Claire's on it, but it's, a, it's just a plain piece of velvet with a star. It looks like a little kid's piece. And then this is all broken. All right, I'm gonna just show y'all this. See the little faux pearl there? It's on this brown piece of velvet. And then the broken beads, beaded necklace. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's look like something that broke off of a piece too, a necklace. We've got a single earring and a gun metal. It's bent, but it could be fixed if the other hoop was found. Oh gosh, remember these from back in the day? Yeah, it's starting to fade out. Remember these necklaces that was like the gold? These are like uh, beads and it's gold and silver. Yeah, there, it's faded really bad. And then we have these little earrings. Nothing spectacular. And this is, what's this, hematite? Yeah, hematite and some little uh, pink rose, metal roses or something. A little stretchy. And then here's a nice um, piece that has some age on it. Okay, do we have two here? Uh-oh, uh let me see how this goes. Oh, it's two necklaces. This is one here. I doubled it so you guys could see it. So it's just a long piece. And do I, oh yeah, I see a clasp. And it's marked with a name. Um, well, I'm gonna say this is gonna be like Liz Claiborne. Yeah, LC. Yep, Liz Claiborne see the little thing but it's really nice and in good condition so this is a nice piece this is really nice and then this is more like a choker oh this is pretty and this is Liz Claiborne too look at this so you hook it did I get the hook it hooks like mm -mm. it's this finger that's messed up it hooks like that, and then it's more chokerish. You see with the little ball there? These two are nice quality pieces, Liz Claiborne. Let me set them over to the side. Yeah, I gotta look better at that. Okay, then, this is some little kids. <laughs> look at that. It's a butterfly on a ring, kids piece. And then we have, I mean, if you look at this in quality, I mean, quantity, um, it's a lot. Could you get your money back? That's pretty. Look at this. Remember these? Could you get your money back if you pieced out each piece and sold it and waited on the sale? You possibly could. This right here is, is a vintage. I'm going to say back in the 90s. This piece right here is not marked, but look at that. And look at the quality of it. It has never faded. Look at that. Whatever gold tone, you know, with whatever material they make to make that. That's a nice piece. I'm going to hold on to that too. Now look at this. This is an earring. It is a clip-on, right? This is one of these clip-ons. But look at this brass, y'all. Look at that. Again, a beautiful brooch. If you really wanted something and you were going boho and you had a nice cream coat. Nice wool winter coat, which I just found too in my closet <laughs> that I have not worn in years. Uh, but yeah, that would be so cute with a nice pin on the back of it and you could pin it onto your um, coat. Even if you took the top piece off and just put the pin on here and let that hang, that's cute. I like that. Sit that there. Um, another, oh yeah, we do have another button and the cuff link. So we got a set of cuff links out of this and two buttons so far. For the shirt, yeah, nice, for the men's shirt. And, um, okay, somebody, oh, somebody gave this away. Is this the lady from um, Mary Kay? 
This lady got a lot of makeup, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Can y'all see that? This is a pin. Somebody got on a lot of makeup. And if not, they sold out their, their uh, person. It's not marked. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Somebody shouldn't have. Oh, wait, here's another um, cute little brass-like. brass, e brass -like. This is costume. It's a cute little hook-in earring. I'm always finding something else to do with those earrings instead of wasting them. This is a uh, kid's, it's a little monkey hanging on the tree. And it's a pendant, like, so, yeah, for kids. Okay, we're almost done, y'all. Get the rest of this stuff up out of here. And we have another little pendant with a paw, a dog's paw, but it has crystals. Can y'all see that? So, and they got a nice little shine under the light. I don't know why the light ain't doing justice to this, but it's a little pendant for a necklace. Then we have this bracelet, which needs to be, oh, this is a watch by Vivian. Yeah, so it got some age to it and the stones that go around, but it needs to be restrung. You see this? Yeah, it needs to be restrung. And um, this is one of those things you put around your head. Back in the day, what was wrong with people? But I guess somebody might want this again in this day and age with boho out. Everything boho. You know, this will go across your forehead and this hooks to the back of you with a long ponytail. You know, that type look. Yeah, that was out. I must admit. At one time, that was the thing. And here's a red. I'm not going to try to find. Oh, this is different. Wait, I'll do this one first. This is one of those, um, you know, layered. I mean, no. Oh, it's dangles. <gasps> look at that, y'all. I like that. Costume, but look at that drape on this. Would you look at that? Oh, yeah, your girl's keeping this. That's pretty. I like that. Put that in my pile. And then I'm supposed to be getting rid of all this stuff around here. And then we got this. Is this marked with by anybody? No. Look at that. Now, I don't know who would wear this. I really don't. But this is like a rubber rope. And then you got your clasp. And then it comes down with these beads. Now, all of this silver is plastic. All of this is plastic. It just looks big and bulky. Reminds me of Xena, Princess Warrior. And then you have this little thin, dainty, a little girly, dainty, you know, little necklace. Costume. And we have, then this one, this is one of those layered ones. Yeah, it goes something like this. Like that. It's like a mauve color. Three layers of these plastic beads. Is this big one? No, not with that last uh, lobster claw. Cute though. And nothing over here is real. Look at everything sticking to the magnet. <laughs> None of this is real. Silver or gold. Okay, then we have, oh, somebody got creative. This is the pendant. You see the, the little green beads? All of that comes up off of that. And this is plastic too. And then it got the little dangle and it's on this probably rosy colored gold, faux gold. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice piece, it's in good condition, but you know, takes the right person to want that. Another silver tone chain with nothing on it. And, okay, this was a, some type of a, this stone is pretty. That's a stone. And uh, somebody wired it for a chain. You see that? Got this going through it. Just went right through the bottom there. And then it has the twist up here to hold, you know, you, where you could put it in a chain. That's cute. We have this. Another little um, chain. Oh, it looks like. Oh, you know what this is? Um, what is, what are, Lance, Lance it, something like that. Lancer, something, I don't know. But it holds your ID for work or whatever, or your keys or your pass card to get into a building or something. And then it has these beads on the end. That's cute. And we have 
Oh, I think this was the chain that was on this that says sterling silver. This was the only thing that was sterling silver in here, y'all. Yeah, 925. That's it. This was it in the $100 bag. Yeah. That. And then we have this, but this isn't sterling silver. This is a pretty piece, but it's just a, uh, you know, costume piece, but very delicate and cute, ladylike. And then we got this, which is just a costume piece that, you know, a little bracelet. Does it even clasp? No, the clasp is broke. It could be bent back, but it's a bracelet like that. And we have this little bracelet that's a magnet with faux leather slash rubber. I don't know what that is, vinyl or something. And um, you just can take it and put it on your arm like that, you know like that and it has a magnet here's another one of the buttons so we found three buttons and the cufflinks and then we have this let me see if this has marked with any nope I was hoping to see like 925 or something on here but nope I looked at it before and I didn't see it when I did it last time but just ch double checking the star moon and uh, a circle that says something I love you to the moon and back. There you go. A pendant. And then this is a Catholic. What is this? Um, the Virgin Mary. Little thing. Pendant. And then we oh this other earring that I said would be a nice um bro, uh pendant. I mean um brooch. So we do have the other one. If so, if somebody's really into this and would wear these, because they are boho, that might be a nice little set. And what else do we have over here, y'all? Nothing, really. A couple, uh, oh, we did find this other earring, the one with the heart. I do have that over there. And then we have another pair right here, brown hook ends, and just some beads. Another little watch that is by Rumors. That's an older brand, but it doesn't have a band to it. A little rusted out ring. Oh, a book holder. I mean, a page holder. You know, you stick your page through. Yeah. Another little earring here. But yeah, that's it. And a little... Oh, this is... We did find this earring, too, in here. But it's rusted out. A little hook and earring. And some little other little pendants. But yeah, nothing. Nothing much. Oh, this little thing is leaking. Some glitter or something. But yeah, that's it. That's all we got. What's this? Oh, some faux pearls. That's what was in the $99 jewelry jar, y'all. $99. Do you see that? Yeah. So, I tell you what. When you go out here and you find this stuff out here in these streets... Um, yeah. Oh, and somebody said something about the cost of the vase. This thing is, wouldn't sell for $2 in the thrift store. They just don't sell. These, it probably came with somebody with flowers. And uh, it's just a glass block. They don't sell for anything. But yeah, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Don't pay $99 in the store. I paid $50. Look, I brought this over to show y'all. This one right here, look at this big bag. Got way more stuff in it was only $12.81, right? So check your stores. Look for the ones in the bags and the jars that are cheaper. But here in, in my area, I'm in the DFW area, we normally don't get jars. We normally get bags. So this bag was $12. Um, I, I got a bunch of these bags now. I've been saving, buying them when I'm in a thrift store and I see them, and I, but I hadn't been opening them. So I will be opening more. And this one will be uh, coming very soon. Like in the next couple of weeks, you'll see this one opened up on the channel. But leave me some comments. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And um, I'm going through some of my old jewelry now. So, you know, we'll, I don't know what's coming up. Possibly a jewelry sale coming up. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And I'll chit-chat with y'all later. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. All right, y'all.